Hey Talking Fam and welcome to another Talking Sports video and today we're taking a look at the difference between the Cactus League and the Grapefruit League for Spring Training. We know what Spring Training is. It is um, two different leagues, one in Florida, one in Arizona, and they're called different things. And we know that different times is when the players report to their spring trainings respectfully. And then you have the games that last for about one month. And they all head to their respective cities so they can start playing the actual games. Let's go ahead and take a deeper dive into what is different between either league uh, to prepare for each MLB season, you have some clubs head to Arizona and to Florida. The Cactus League in Arizona was founded in 1947, just two years after the end of World War II. Or the season uh, is from February 26th through March 28th, when you have 15 teams and each league. There is 10 stadiums in the in the Cactus League and there's 13 stadiums in the Grapefruit League. Uh, and and you have the Grapefruit League, which was founded in 1888. It is located in Florida. And then you have the season which is from the 24th of February all the way through March 31st when the season allows it. You have 15 teams, 13 stadiums, and yeah, it's so what uh so which teams play where and what is the difference? Alright, here's everything you guys need to know. The Cactus League was founded in forty six after then Cleveland owner Bill Vec convinced then Giants owner Horace Stoneham to move their spring training to Arizona. The Cubs were the third team to join in nineteen fifty two. By 1988, the Cactus League had 10 teams. The Reds were the most recent addition to the league in 2010 to give it 15 teams. When does it start? Uh, the 20 sets. How many teams are in the Cactus League? 15 teams. Which teams are in the Cactus League? So you have the Diamondbacks, the Cubs, the White Sox, the Guardians, the Reds, the Rockies, the Royals, the Angels, the Dodgers, the Brewers, the Athletics, the Padres, the Giants, the Mariners, and then you have the Texas Rangers. You have 10 different stadiums and 8 different cities. Five of the venues are shared by two clubs. The Cactus League stadiums are much closer together compared to the Grapefruit League. All of 10 Cactus League venues are within an hour's drive of each other. The American Family Field of Phoenix are the Brewers' home stadium. Camelback Ranch and Glendale are the Dodgers and the White Sox. Uh, Goodyear Park is the home of the Guardians and the Reds, while Hokokum Stadium and Mesa is uh, the Athletics. Then you have Peora Sports uh, Complex, the home of the Mariners and Padres in Peora. You have the Salt River Fields at Talking Sticks home on Stottsdale, home of the Diamondbacks and the Rockies. You then have Stottsdale Stadium in Stottsdale, home of the Giants. Sloan Park in Mesa, uh, home of the Cubs. Surprise Stadium in Surprise, home of the Rangers and the Royals. Tempe Diablo Stadium in Tempe, home of the Angels. Are there any Cactus League stadiums indoors? No. How big are them? The Cactus League ballparks have an average capacity of 11,300. Sloan Park, home of the Cubs, can hold the most fans at 15,000. While Tempe Diablo Stadium, home of the Angels, can fill the fewest at 9,600. How many fans attend? And um, attendance numbers have been down in recent years due to the COVID-19 pandemic and the 2022 lockout. In 2019, the Cactus League games drew an average of 7,900 fans. According to the Cactus League website, studies by Arizona State University have shown that 60% of fans that attend games come from out of state. What is the average temperature in Arizona in February and March? The average temperature in Phoenix ranges from 44 to 71 degrees in February and 48 to 78 degrees in March. Now you have the Grapefruit League. The concept of spring training in Florida first began in 1888 with the Washington Nationals. No, not 
Those Washington Nationals, the Washington Ball Club of the National League, spent three weeks during jet training in Jacksonville that year per the Grapefruit League website. The team went on to finish last. The whole Florida idea didn't catch on and it'll be another 15 years before teams return to the state for spring training. That's when the Philadelphia Athletics, then defending the American League champions, became the first major league team to spend an entire spring training in Florida prior to the 1903 season. But it would be another decade before the Sunshine State became another spring training super host, with the Chicago Cubs arriving in Tampa in 1913. They were followed by the following year by the St. Louis Browns in St. Petersburg, the St. Louis Cardinals on St. Augustine, and the Athletics in Jacksonville. By the end of the 1920s, 10 of America's 16 teams spent spring training in Florida, including Babe Ruth and the New York Yankees. When does it start end in 2023? This year's rate for lead runs from the 24th to March 31st. How many teams are in the Drake Field League? 15. Which teams are in? You have the Atlanta Braves, the Baltimore Orioles, the Red Sox, the Tigers, the Astros, the Marlins, the Twins, the Mets, the Yankees, the Phillies, the Pirates, the Cardinals, the Rays, the Blue Jays, and the Nationals. How many Drake Field League stadiums are there? There are 13 different stadiums, 12 different cities, and two Florida coasts. Some teams share a venue with the ballpark of the Palm Beaches in West Palm Beach, host the Astros and the Nationals and Roger Dean Chevrolet Stadium and Jupiter being home to the Astros and the Cardinals. The uh, majority of the Grapefruit League stadiums are on Florida's West Coast, while three remain on the East Coast. Then, okay, you have the Atlanta Braves, Cool Today Park in Venice, Ed Smith Stadium, home of the Orioles and Sarasota, the Red Sox uh, play at Jet Blues Park in Fenway South at Fort Myers. Detroit play, uh, Tigers play at Publix Field at Joker Marsh Stadium in Lakeland. The Astros play at Ballpark of the Ballpark Beaches, uh, sharing with the Nationals and West Palm Beach. The Marlins and the Cardinals play at Dean Chevrolet Stadium in Jupiter, while the Twins play at Hammond Stadium in Fort Myers. The Mets play at Clover Park in Port St. Lucie, Florida. Uh, the Yankees play at George M. Steinbrenner Field in Tampa. Phillies play at Bay Care Park, uh, Ballpark in Fleerwater, Florida. The Pirates play at Le uh, Lecom Park in Brandonton, Florida. And then the Rays play at Charlotte Sports Park in Port Charlotte, Florida. The Blue Jays play at TD Ballpark in Dunedin. While the Nationals play at Ballpark uh, of the Palm Beaches, of course. Are there any Grapefruit League stadiums indoors? No. How big are the Great Fruit League stadiums? They have an average capacity of about 8,218. JetBlue Park, home of the Red Sox, can hold the most fans at 11,000. Cool Today Park, which homes the Braves and is the league's newest stadium uh, that opened in 2019, holds the fewest fans at 6,800. How many fans attend? So attendance numbers uh, are, have been down. Uh, 2019, during the last Great Fruit League season, Full great for the lead season, Dames drew an average of 6,300 fans. From 2000 and through to January 2020, more than 31 million fans attended spring training games in Florida, with a majority of sales driven by non resident vitor, visitors. What is the average temperature in Florida in February uh, slash March? The average temperature in Florida ranges from 65 through 82 degrees in February and 66 through 83 degrees in March. That is going to be uh, the 2023 MLB Spring Training. Everything you need to know about the uh, Spring Training 2023. Thanks, guys, for watching. Please like and subscribe down below. I'd really appreciate it. And see you guys in the next one. Peace.